Welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. Today we are going to show you how to make friends with a dodo by beating it senseless and then giving it some berries to make up for it. And it will be your friend for life. Now, uh, the last episode we showed you how to tame a Lystrosaur using the passive taming method. And uh, today we're going to show you the active taming method where we knock a dino unconscious and give it its favorite food. And uh, we'll also show you how to carry a dodo around and why a dodo is helpful as a egg laying farm that will help you for the rest of the game. So uh, be sure to watch this episode to learn how to do uh, active taming. Now the first thing we need to do is find a dodo and uh, dodos are very easy to tame. They're really hard to keep alive. They'll die very fast if something attacks them. So usually I don't tame a dodo until I at least have a house to put it in, but they're pretty good house pets and uh, they're pretty helpful that way. Now you can tame a dodo with regular berries and narco berries, but it's much more effective if you use medjo berries because they tame up a lot faster. So here's a dodo and we definitely want to get a female and we're just going to punch it a couple of times and it'll just fall right over like that. What are you looking at, turtle? This doesn't concern you. So we're going to hit the Y button to pull up its inventory and then we are going to select our narco berries and drop them in the slot and then also the medjo berries. Now over time it's going to start eating those medjo berries as you can see and it's already 30% tamed. I'm sorry 50% tamed. So if you look at it it's got a bar at the top and uh, that's also the very bottom middle bar here which shows its torpidity which is how unconscious it is. And if I mouse over the narco berries and then hit the right trigger it will feed one to the dodo and bring its unconscious bar all the way back to the top. You can see the unconscious is going down and the taming bar is going up. Now that was really fast, it was kind of hard to catch that, but, uh, and I just went ahead and skipped through the part where you name it. Now if you hit X, you can actually pick up the dodo and carry it around because it's nice and light. Now in the next episode I'll show you how to tame a Dilophosaur, which will be a little bit longer of a tame, so you'll probably get a better idea of uh, how to tame a dino that way. But I did want to show you the dodos because they are crazy easy. Usually you can just knock them out. Hmm. And if you double tap X, you can toss the dodo down and then you can pull out your weapons to kill a trilobite because I just can't pass up these trilobites. I do have to be careful not to hit the dodo with my spear because I can kill my own dinosaurs. So I'm just going to kill that real quick. But uh, in the next episode, we'll show you how to tame Dilophosaurs, which will be a little bit better of an example. With Dodos, a lot of times, if you have a couple of Medjo Berries or a few, you can just punch out the Dodo, drop the Medjo Berries in its inventory, and usually it will tame up before it even wakes up. Now, if it's a higher level one, it might wake up more quickly, so be sure to have a couple of Narco Berries, and you can drop them in its inventory, and then just right trigger to use them, and then it will keep Re restoring its torpidity bar and making it not wake up. So uh, dodos are a really easy tame. They're just quick and easy. You can get a bunch of them and they'll start laying eggs as long as they're females. And uh, the eggs are great for nutrition and you can also use them for taming other dinosaurs. So uh, that's pretty much it to tame a dodo and bring it back to your house. It's a pretty easy thing to do. Now I'm going to enable wandering. I'm holding down the X button and then on the menu, there's an option to enable wandering on its behavior. And I've heard that that actually makes them lay more eggs. I uh, haven't really verified that. So if you happen to know for sure, please drop that in the comments. It may just be a myth. Now, another really important thing once you've tamed something is to make sure it has enough food. So I'm hitting X to split the stack in half and then holding down B to drop all of those yellow berries into its inventory. And now he's got enough food and he's already starting to poop. Now, uh, dodos are pretty good. They're like chickens and uh, it's gonna be pretty helpful for the rest of this time. Now, I never name a dino in the field. I always wait until I get back home. But if we're holding down the A button, we can pull up this radial menu, which is kind of hard to navigate. And we want to select options and then very quickly move it off of the spay command because if you spay your dodo, it can't have any more babies. Now, uh, we did rename and we're just going to name this really quick. Uh, it's a nice lavender color, color, so I'll just call it lavender, whatever. I don't put too much uh, time into naming my dodos. So that's 
pretty much it. You can uh, tame a dodo real quick and easy. Hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe if it was, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. Ark is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There is a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.